Next are cheap skate alternatives. This time we're taking inspiration from Tiff's On The Limit Drive in the latest version of a hot hatch legend. Understated design, rock solid build and blistering performance. These are the best cheap skate alternatives to the brand new Golf GTI. But instead of costing 25 grand, they start at just 1,500 quid. The cheapest car here is what some call the greatest hot hatch ever. The Mark II Golf GTI 16 valve. First, a test drive. This came with a 1.8 litre engine and kicked out 139 brake horsepower. Now these days, this is a bona fide cult classic. It'll never go out of fashion and it'll never drop in value. But the best bit of all is, it doesn't drive like a dusty old relic. Mark II GTIs can do over 200,000 miles if they're cared for, but do suffer some common faults. Take it out when it's cold and see that it changes easily from first to second gear. Any resistance could mean a dodgy synchro mesh. To fix that, it's a gearbox strip and 500 quid. Check the rear brakes as the calipers can seize, costing 70 quid a side to fix. The symptom to look for is a disc that isn't clean and shiny. Right, and finally, rust. Have a look underneath the sills. Also underneath this wheel arch spat inside the fuel filler cap for any signs. And lastly, check underneath the bottom of the windscreen here for any signs of bubbling. It's one of the most sought-after used cars on the market. But a bit more cash buys you a real unsung hero. The Lupo GTI. Now, these came with a revy little 1.6-litre engine producing 123 brake horsepower. That's good for 130 miles an hour, and it'll still turn 40 miles to the gallon. You know, I've forgotten how good these little cars are. You know, it's free revving, it hasn't got a lot of torque, but then again, it won't do, but it's quick enough. You know, this is a fun little, agile, nippy little car. It's got a big thumbs up from me. Just make sure you examine the body closely. The aluminium panels on the Lupo are very expensive to replace. For example, this front wing will set you back 380 quid. So make sure all the panels are in good condition, otherwise a small dink could break the bank. My most expensive choice is by far the fastest, the Mark IV Golf R32. Now, the R range is actually a step up from the GTI, featuring more grunt and four-wheel drive. And this version is a 3.2-litre V6. It's got 237 brake horsepower, which, incidentally, is actually more powerful than the current latest GTI. Now, the engine is really smooth, got a great noise, and it's also got a real linear power delivery all the way up to, what, 6,500 revs? Love this V6. Next, some insider buying tips. Listen out for a whining or a juddering coming from the rear end. If it sounds a bit iffy, it could be a worn rear diff. Now, the Haldex system on here needs to be serviced every 20,000 miles. If it hasn't been, it's going to cost you three grand. But the biggest issue is the timing chain. The chain and the tensioner can break, especially on higher mileage cars. So if you're looking at buying one with over 100,000 miles, make sure you check the paperwork to see that it's been done. Otherwise, it'll cost you a grand. So if the new GTI's 25 grand price is out of your reach, fear not. You could get one of these brilliant cheapskate alternatives instead.